Welcome back to a new video, and today's intro is going to be very quick. I have a Cobb exhaust, and that needs to go on the car. This is my daily driver, my unfortunately crop sensor and fixed lens. So this is a 2014 Focus ST, and I got to get under there. So what exactly is required for this? <coughs> so to start things off, I'll be loosening bolts and. That is a sawzall. What will you be doing? I am going to be cutting this pipe to remove the rear muffler assembly that goes over the axle or the rear suspension assembly. So you got to cut it here so you can slip all this out and then that part just falls off. And what are the lines for? So that if we go to put it back, if we need to put it back together, we could put a coupling here and you can line up your marks so you know it's straight or you can weld it whatever you want to do but you'll have marks here to line up your cuts okay here we go If you non-northerners out there are curious why our cars rust out, it's because this is what's sitting under all our points. This is mostly salt. Luckily the paint's still there, but if this had sat for longer, it probably would have been gone. One eternity later. Salt. Something just went in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining salt too. <laughs> Are in the other one over there? No, the other toolbox. Yes, this one. No, that one over there. Uh, I got you. Oh. Okay, that came out.
that came out. Five eighths. Thirteen ninths. It'll be seven eighths, eleven sixteenths on the other end. What's this one up here? Seven eighths, right here. All right. Let's see if I can get out of this. See, this is the thing. They make the connector so you can't put a box wrench to take them off. Look, every time. They do it every time. It makes it hard to get. There's no reason that that connector's got to be that big. And they do it every time. A lot of depth protection. I don't know. I don't know why to do it. But here's no. We're not gonna take them out. We'll leave them on there. But we're putting new ones on. They're right here. Yeah, we're gonna leave them on there. Okay. So here's what you gotta do. You have a short cable mm -hmm. one and a long cable one. This is a short cable one. Right. Yep. See, so unscrew that. It's got never sees already on it. You thread it in here. here like this. Consider, she, she considering broke. it's New Jersey, that's we're actually really good. <laughs> she broke. Actually, this stuff's in pretty good shape. It's just surface rust. So, coming up tomorrow, I gotta make this stuff look pretty. And a whole lot of just cleanup. Okay, so the keen-eyed viewers will already probably have figured this out, but that paint is not going to hold up. It didn't. I was in a rush. I did a very short brass, br brass brush treatment and it wasn't nearly enough. I should have at least used a wire brush and drill. Anyway, I was under the car two weeks ago. A lot of the paint on most of those brackets isn't really holding up very well. So, yeah, uh, always prep your paints. That's, or prep your, prep the thing you're painting. That's probably stupid obvious, but... Anyway, it is 3 o'clock the next day, and I am currently working on these brackets here for the exhaust, uh, doing two layers of paint each, and uh, you know, a Craigslist restoration special, so that's gray, because I ran out of black paint, and then I ran into gray paint. So I just, uh, I wanted to get two layers, so I put some white and then gray over it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not like anyone's going to see this stuff, and it's better to have paint than rust.
Now you may be curious as to why all of these uh, clamps are different colors. To put it simply, I just got back from work. I ran out of both black paint and gray paint. If you are wondering why I am wearing a jacket, and it looks like I'm wearing two or three layers in a lot of these clips, especially the second half. It's because if you've ever lived in the north or the northeast, or even just New York and New Jersey, I know Canada is involved in there too then you know that sometimes when you live up here you don't only live with rust but sometimes the winter likes to stick around for a little bit longer and you know it who cares if it's the second month of spring it's still 30 degrees <laughs> yeah so uh, you live down south have fun that that's what you're missing out on Okay, so it's finally done, based by all the time lapsing and edits and whatever I throw in there. It's time to hear it start for the first time. Well, since we're here, that's not good. Um, so after that clip was done, I, you know, helped the cars get moved around. And I went for a little drive to get used to it. I noticed there was a, a lot of exhaust smell coming into the car. It basically smelled like an old muscle car. Or the closest experience I could have is when you're leaving a car show behind, like an or like a like an early '50s car. Anyway, so I figured something was wrong, but I got busy, so I drove it for a few days like that and enjoyed the fact that it backfired in every gear, because that's what you do. Um, yeah, well, it turns out, uh, there should be a picture around here, um, they kind of forgot the tack. They only put the tack and did not weld. So I contacted Cobb, I have to give him credits, great support. Um... It took them a little while to get me my money back, my refund, but I did get it. And uh, being I have the cat at the garage waiting with the tack, I gotta get the right metal to kinda, you know, weld around it, but we should be able to go from there and uh, we'll be good. That also needs to happen anyway, because as a simple, as a short-term fix to get that car on the road, uh, me and my dad used no camera and went and 
went in all out mode and just took the whole thing apart and just I did a really ugly booger weld on the old OEM cat for a flange and now I have an exhaust coat so I'm not sure if the cat's just it was going anyway it was just leaking or the fact that I did a hot garbage weld on it probably finished it off but I don't know so anyway something has to happen with that cat because my inspection is coming up and I need a functioning emission system I don't need that so um, anyway uh, like the video subscribe all that crap anyway talk to you later